for that. Fine, I'll talk about it. Right, I actually got a request from a friend of mine on Facebook uh, to talk about this after he saw my Elder Scrolls Online video. What is there to say about EA that's not already been said? They're total shit at the moment. They have been for quite a fucking while. More specifically, you wanted to talk about Titanfall, and yeah, I can understand why. Finally got my hands on the game, played up, played it. And goddamn, I can understand why he wanted me to talk about it. I'm just going to go through a list of the problems that are listed on uh, IGN, which I'm going to link down below instead of me doing, like, one big list. Uh, okay, Titanfall cannot be installed on 32-bit systems. Troubleshoot Titanfall installation fails at 20% or 31%. Hard drive, hard hard, hard, yeah, goddamn, I'm so, so fucking early in the morning to talk about this. Hard drive related installation issues, connection errors, and infinity loop when trying to connect to slower internet connections, crashing when it's when ex when accepting an invitation to a match or process or progression or in progress while currently in a match. Players randomly assigned to IMC or militia when starting campaign. Connect cannot be used for voice comms and voice and microphone functionality on PC, some Intel processors must install specific beta graphics drivers. Wow. Just wow. Um, Where do you even go with that? Th that pretty much just speaks for itself when it comes to Titanfall. And, this, and the worst thing is, and this is like the worst part of it all, is... It's practically standard practice now for all EA games to suck ass on launch. Battlefield 3 sucked when it came out, which has improved over time. Battlefield 4 was a goddamn near disaster. I say god I say I say nearly because it's almost playable, apart from the constant rubber banding being booted right back to the fucking menu, uh, being booted right back out of the game with the application failing, disconnections from EA servers, that list goes on as well. And every time something gets fixed, something else breaks. The point of the video right now is what does this say about games that are currently in development under EA publishing? I mean, obviously... There's the big one that, my God, if this if they fuck this up, there is no telling how far uh, people will get pissed off. Battle Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront. That is being developed by Dice on the Frostbite Engine Three. If I'm cor if I'm correct in remembering that, being published by Dice because they own the license. It's a scary thought knowing that it's in their hands after they fucked up so many times. And here's the thing. People will turn around and say, oh, it's not EA's fault. And to be honest, that's probably a very small margin of people that will say that. But to those people, when you have recurring problems on multiple platforms, all under the same umbrella that is EA, you can't deny it. There's SimCity. There's Battlefield, and now Titanfall. What can you say about that? That is just bad. That is tragic. I said it before in the Elder Scrolls Online video, and I'm going to say it now. If you are worried right now about these problems affecting future games, then speak with wallets, not keyboards. EA does not care about y you, you. They really don't. They have proven that. They care about this. The moolah. The money. That's all they care about. And that's becoming more and more prevalent. I'm worried about Battlefront. I'm really worried about Mirror's Edge 2. Or Mirror's Edge. Whatever you want to call it. That's, com that's being developed and being made. Or being fucked. Whatever. I'm worried about that now. Ooh. 
Jesus, it's too in, it's too early in the morning to do this. But Jesus, what can you say about this? What can you say about this crap? In fact, I really want to know what people think about this. Please leave a comment below. If you're having no issues with Titanfall, then you're one of the very lucky few at the moment. But I really want to know, with the current state of EA published games, what do you, what do people think about this crap? And think about the fucking implications this could have on future EA published games, sorry. I'm Dante Crisis signing off. And a side note, actually, because I want because I can't think of any other representation that is better than this. If you have ever heard of Angry Joe, one of my favourite YouTubers and reviewers at the moment, and has been for a while, he has a character called Corporate Commander. I had to, think, I had to remember because it's too, too damn early. I'm just going to put a video right here, which will demonstrate how he portrays his character. What the hell? I wanted this shit done yesterday! Our quarterly reports must be padded! I don't care what you have to cut out of the game! Make it faster! Cheaper and faster! Oh, and remove all of these interesting levels! Instead, have them run around in the same drab garbage location the whole game! Oh, and make it four hours! Four hours long, sir? Yes, four hours! What do you think I'm trying to do here? Make a fulfilling and satisfying game, you morons! Morons, all of you! That's how I think EA is working. That is the encompassment. That is the... That is the... That is EA embodied in a sketch. Now I'm finally signing off. Later, guys. <laughs>